And Joe, last question. I value your opinion a lot as, as far as the trainer design just in general. How special is, is Floyd and what the, what's the one thing or one of the things that you, when you look at him, you, you say that's why he is who he is and that's why he's been so hard to beat over? Well, he's got a, he's got a great pedigree. Number one, um, his father could fight. He was a hell of a boxer. His uncle Roger, you know, I went up against him once or twice back in the old days. And he was an incredible fighter. Um, and a really hard puncher. He, you know, was called the Mexican assassin yep. at one time out here at the Olympics. I remember that. Just killing everybody. <laughs> um, but he was, he was a brilliant fighter. His fight with uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Sr., the one they had at the forum, mm -hmm. that Mayweather didn't answer the bell after the 10th, I think it was. What, he, Mayweather would have beaten anybody that ever lived on the planet Earth except for Chavez that night. That's how good Chavez was. But Mayweather was incredible. He was incredible. Nobody could have beaten Mayweather that night except the Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. in his prime with the most incredible condition and training I've ever seen on a guy because Mayweather had an answer for everything. But eventually Chavez just wore him out and wore him down. So he was an incredible fighter. He was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Chavez, Chavez in his prime. And that's saying something. That being said, Floyd is a recipient of that pedigree. And, you know, like uh, Ken Griffey Jr. compared to Ken Griffey Sr., I thought Ken Griffey Jr. was really incredible compared to his father, and he was a great player. So I think Floyd was probably the, obviously the best of the bunch. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, he, he worked hard. He worked hard. I can remember Floyd when I had a fight in Vegas. He was fighting in the, uh, it was an amateur tournament at USA against Mexico, and he lost. He happened to lose that fight to a really savvy Mexican kid. And he took it so hard. I can remember saying to myself, boy, this kid, and he was very young at the time. And it was probably one of the last times he lost. But I said, this kid hated losing as much as I've ever seen a young guy hate losing. And so that showed me something right then and there. We happened to be in the uh, health spa mm -hmm. where, you know, we were all working out and uh, Floyd was uh, in, in the spa and he, had, he just, the way he relayed his disappointment in himself was, really, he was really hard on himself. So right there that tells you this guy doesn't like to lose. That means he's a winner. So he's got a winner's attitude, a winner's uh, outlook, um, and he, he really trained as hard as anybody you're ever going to see. You didn't have to take him and put him up in a mountain somewhere because he was doing the wrong thing. You didn't have to. He, he would train himself if need be. Now, of course, he had great trainers with his dad and, and Roger. Uh, but, you know, he, you know, a guy like Floyd needs that guidance. But, man, he was a self-motivated guy. So between, you know, the pedigree, the great experience he had through the amateurs, um, him turning pro at, I think, 30, 130 pounds, and how he devastated. He was knocking guys out at that weight. And, uh, you know, he, it seems like the career, you know, went on forever. So he had longevity as well, you know. It's, it's like, you know, he's a one in a, in a 10 million, to tell you the truth, because you may have guys that are as qualified and as brilliant in the ring, but they self-sabotage themselves a lot of times and they take themselves out of the game for whatever particular negative reason they decided to enjoy. So Floyd was able to, I think, you know, nullify those outside influences and keep the blinders on and man, he just went straight all the way to the top and then beyond. So those are just a few, I think, of the qualities that made Floyd Mayweather who he really is. Awesome. Well, Joe, you've given me, you've been way generous with your time. I really appreciate always talking to you. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks, Lou. I appreciate it. Always great to talk to you. Thank you, Joe.